The following program is a paid presentation for the Banjo Fishing System, brought to you by TriStar. If anybody was standing here today and watched that and said they didn't agree with what the Lord is doing, then they weren't watching the same thing I was watching simple as that. Oh yeah, I think a lot of people are in disbelief until they've seen it. They would just keep throwing it out and reeling it in faster with the talk and keep throwing it out, throwing it out, throwing it out until the fish hit. And yours, every time it just sat there in the water and the guy gave one pull, the fish was on it. Stay tuned. You're going to find out what revolutionary new fishing lure caught every fish in this huge bass tank at the biggest outdoor show in the East. They, they probably will outlaw this. <laughs> They're going to have to outlaw it. After all, all these fish it was catching in the tank, I'll tell you, there won't be a fish left in the world. <laughs> and what caught virtually every major game fish on the North American continent in only 30 days of fishing. I've never seen a bait that would do all this. And you're going to be stunned, thrilled, and totally amazed in its lifelike action and its ability to catch fish. It's just so lifelike. I've never seen a, you know, a plastic lure that it's just, it's amazing, totally amazing. And hear why professional fishermen and fishermen everywhere are absolutely convinced it's the most significant advancement in fishing technology in almost 50 years. This bait is phenomenal. It is totally phenomenal. I've never seen nothing like it. This will definitely change fishing. You know, this, is, this lure is beyond its time. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm Ken Carey. I'm not a professional fisherman, but I love to fish. And if you do, too, stick around because in the next half hour, you're gonna hear terms like random movement, spastic action, and neutral buoyancy. And then we'll learn about genetic response and how this significant discovery in fishing technology can actually make fish bite. The simple fact is, this will change the way people will fish forever. Introducing the Banjo Minnow, the world's first and only genetic response fishing lure the only fishing lure that can actually make fish bite. A fishing lure that is both radical in design and concept. A fishing lure that zigs, zags, jumps, and dives in all directions, while the lure itself swims, wiggles, flutters, and quivers with absolute random action. It will catch virtually every game fish in the world, whether it is a giant freshwater pike in northern Canada or a saltwater redfish on a Florida flat. We caught 26 stripers in a row. 26 casts, 26 stripers, and you should have seen the expressions of the guys' faces in the other boats. It was unbelievable. I was just absolutely amazed. I, I couldn't believe it. Hello, everybody. I'm Bill Dance. And you know, I've been fishing nearly all my life and hosted my own television fishing show for the past 26 years. In all that time, I've only seen a handful of products or innovations that I felt were truly revolutionary. But I'm here to tell you that the Banjo Mena and the Banjo Fishing System is all of that and more. It's going to open up a whole new approach to fishing. The ideas and concepts behind the system are so simple, yet so effective, they're going to let a lot of folks who have always had a hard time catching fish, catch fish as well as the pros. Wayne Huckmeyer is co-inventor of the Banjo Minnow, and the concepts behind the Banjo Minnow helped him to become a winning tournament fisherman. Wayne, the idea of a minnow seems so simple. Why a minnow? How did the banjo minnow get started? Kenny Dobbin and I are both fishing guys. We fish for a living. I'm also a tournament fisherman. We wanted to create an artificial bait that fished as well as live bait. And we believe the reason live bait always outfish conventional fishing lures was that conventional fishing lures didn't look like a real minnow and they didn't swim like a real minnow. They actually look like a cartoon minnow and they move with a mechanical or repetitive action. We worked for two years to perfect this movement, to make it lifelike. When we had succeeded in doing this, we went to Joe Ranowski, who we considered to be the master of making lifelike fishing lures. He took our minnow, he put scales on it, he put gills on it, he put translucency and sparkle, and he made a minnow that looked like a real fish. Joe's final creation, when placed side by side with various types of live bait, is remarkable. And if you put it in the water, it's almost impossible to tell them apart. 
That's why it works so well. It looks like it's alive when you work it, okay? Joe Renoski has been designing and manufacturing fishing lures for over 25 years, and it was his design that caught the largest largemouth bass in the past 60 years, 21 pounds, 12 ounces. We've taken and put this, the white area on the bottom. That's all perfected inside the minnow. We put the translucencies on top, and we've taken and put the glitters inside of there, okay? Nobody can do that with their minnow like we've done it. When we created the illusion of a real live minnow, we greatly increased the amount of strikes we got over conventional lures. The limitation was the fish had to be hungry. If they weren't hungry, they still ignored our bait because they see minnows all the time swimming. And although ours was real, they just thought it was another swimming fish. And that's when we discovered what we call the genetic response. We found out if we made the banjo minnow have a spastic action of a crippled dying minnow, that these predator fish came alive. It didn't matter what type of fish they were. It was almost hypnotic to them. They moved to the minnow and they ate it because they're genetically programmed to eat crippled dying minnows. And we found out we had made a fishing lure that actually made fish bite even if they weren't hungry. I fished it and I went from where I used to finish way down to winning $5,000 tournaments, $10,000 tournaments, and it was on a, not even a bait this good, it was the prototype of the banjo minnow. And, and you're, it, you're convinced that's what got you to that point? Well, I know it is. <laughs> I mean, that's what I was winning the tournaments on. Banjo minnow co-inventor Ken Daubert has studied fish behavior all of his life and has been a fishing guide for over 15 years. His knowledge of fish behavior led to the discovery of genetic response. That's the one area where our lure just separates and goes into a whole new era of fishing lures. And when that minnow does that twitch in the water when he's laying there, they can't help themselves. They've never seen this in a fishing lure before. There's nothing in the industry that does it. And our lure gets eaten, and that's why it catches fish. What I really noticed was the hook in the front of the minnow. Why do you put it there? It makes the minnow come alive. We took the hook out of the fish, which in an essence took the backbone out. And literally what it did is made plastic swim. That was the beginning. Because when we saw what we had done, we said, that looks like a real minnow. It doesn't wobble or spin around like a blade. It really looks like a real minnow. And that was the big, big secret. The hook is right up in front. When the fish swims off, he hooks himself. Virtually 99% of the fish that we caught on this and caught on film all did the same thing. They either took the bait from the head or they just inhaled the whole bait so that everything went right into the fish's mouth. Well, when you struck or pulled, the first thing coming out is the fish hook. There's nothing in the way to stop the hooking of it. And it, it, it is just a tremendously positive hooking system. The hook is right at the nose of the bait where the bass is going to suck it in. And the minute he sucks it in, the hook is in his mouth. The action of the lure is just incredible. And when the fish, when the bass in particular bite it, they bite it from the front and they get hooked. I've, I've not missed a fish on the banjo minnow. Another feature I like about the banjo minnow is this unique weed guard. Just a slight amount of pressure against that will spring this open and the line pull and the hook point are in line for better contact. And with the banjo minnow, with the hook placed where it is, your strike catch ratio is going to be tremendous. And there's no question in my mind, it will catch you more fish. The Banjo Weed Guard allows you to fish in all types of vegetation, whether it is dollar pads or giant cow lilies in Florida, or even over the top of a grass mat for presentation in small openings. It can be Carolina rigged and dragged over rocks or logs without getting hung up. The Banjo Minnow and Banjo Weed Guard put you right where the big fish are and where most people avoid or simply cannot fish. What do you say to the person who says, I'm just not convinced? I mean, all I can say is, is look at the footage that we went out and got. We said we're going to go all over North America and actually video fish coming up and striking or eating the banjo minnow. 
and we gave ourselves 30 days of fishing to do it. This kind of fishing challenge has never been attempted. Can the 30-day fishing tour using only the banjo minnow catch fish from all over North America? We'll see. Now it's time to change your luck forever and make fish bite for you. Introducing the Banjo Minnow, the world's first genetic response fishing lure. The lure that can make fish bite even when they're not hungry. The Banjo Minnow comes in a complete 110-piece fishing system that includes 24 weedless banjo fish hooks, from small crappie hooks to large live bait hooks for fishing in the grass. The patent-pending banjo weedless nose hook is screwed directly into the front of the bait, allowing the Banjo Minnow to be thrown anywhere, in the trees, over logs, on top of docks or through the reeds. No more piles of grass and no more fear of fishing where the big ones are. The Banjo Minnow Weedless Hook System is the best weedless hook system ever invented. The kit includes 10 banjo corkscrews for attaching the bait to the hook, 20 rubber weed guards, 10 bait positioning O-rings, six bait weights for deep water presentation, two banjo rattles that can be screwed into any plastic bait to call fish from a distance, two nose weights which allow the banjo minnow to be dragged on the bottom and through the grass, six counterbalanced weedless banjo jigs in three different sizes. Because the jig always stands up, you can fish the banjo minnow in a stand-up feeding position and crawl it over rocks and logs where the big fish hide. And finally, 24 banjo minnows in three different sizes in four fantastic colors. You can even take the banjo minnow ice fishing. The banjo minnow will outfish any lure that has ever been made, and we absolutely guarantee it or your money back. Call and order now, and you'll receive Catch the Big One, the how-to video that shows you exclusive tips and techniques on how to trigger the genetic response so you can catch more and bigger fish. This 1995 value is yours free, but you must call now. And as a special bonus, you'll also receive four banjo frogs for fishing on top of grass mats. So lifelike, they make fish jump out of water. The video and the banjo frogs are yours free when you order now. This entire banjo minnow system, the 110-piece banjo fishing kit, video, and four banjo frogs is a $50 value and is yours for just $29.95. Call the number on your screen now. The banjo minnow makes a wonderful gift for the difficult to buy for. Have your credit card ready and order now for delivery by the holidays. Extend your fishing throughout the whole winter season. Now you can turn all your fishing trips into great fishing trips with the banjo minnow. Call. You're about to see something that has never been seen before. Actual strikes caught on camera by almost every game fish in North America. We began a 30-day tour at Hatchet Lake Lodge in Saskatchewan, Canada, where I caught the biggest pike of my life. Whoa! There is Moby Pike. Just a tremendous surface strike. Joe went to Western Pennsylvania and caught this giant rainbow trout. This was the first of three major trout species that live in streams that he caught. Kenny Daubert went to the saltwater flats of Florida and caught this beautiful redfish. This beautiful brook trout fell for a three-inch banjo minnow. Kenny stayed on the Florida flats and took a big sea trout. I ended my stay at Hatchet Lake Lodge by catching a walleye, and then followed it up with the first jumping lake trout that I have ever seen. This monster brown trout completed a grand slam by Joe on the major freshwater trout species. Joe met Kenny in Florida, where Joe took this snook. Just to prove the banjo minnow would catch all sizes of fish, Joe went after crappy and then bluegill in Florida. So you just jerk it. It's that flashing, flashing, kicking, dying minnow. Right after you get the hookup, right like that. In February of 1996, the banjo minnow was demonstrated for the first time in front of a live audience at one of the largest fishing shows on the East Coast. These folks have seen and been promised just about everything when it comes to fishing. Until Wayne demonstrated the banjo minnow and the genetic response reaction and showed the audience how the banjo minnow can actually make fish bite. What I'm going to do is try to 
Take it up the tank. Easy. How many hits? There's one. There it is. Two. Again and again. They just have to bite it. But I can't make them let go of it. There's another one. Three on one cast. You just give it a yank. It takes off in a certain direction. You let it die, and all of a sudden, you feel a tug on the line. He has to bite. These fish will come up and look at it real close, and they just are fooled. And when that kicks off, they go, that's it, and they can't resist. Just like that. They're convinced it's real. They're programmed to eat it, and they eat it. It's unbelievable. I've been here for an hour, and I can't get over how it's just so lifelike. I've never seen a, you know, a plastic lure that it's just, it's amazing, totally amazing. Even though he was doing the fish, I watched the lure, and it worked every time. Uh-huh. It worked every time. That's how I was amazed at. And then you've got 25 or 30 fish in here, and it literally catch every one of them with one specific lure. It's just unbelievable. Just totally unbelievable. They know it isn't food but they're genetically programmed to grab a dying fish, so they have to. To prove that anyone can catch fish with the banjo minnow, we asked a man to come up out of the audience and catch a fish with only one cast. And this was after dozens of other lures have been through the tank with no results. So I've never had anybody else try to do this, but I know, I know what the lure is. You just let it sink, just jerk it a little. And then watch it. Just jerk it quick. That's it. Now let it sink. Let it sink. Little tap, tap, tap. There, there. Here they come. Here they. Go. He got it. He got it. I tell you, to the guy at home, believe it or not, I got picked up out of the audience, and I thought it was absolutely fantastic. I really did. And that's no bull. It just is amazing. Nothing moves like this that I have ever seen. It's incredible. Very impressive what I seen here today. I was really impressed. I said I was here the other day, I seen them putting crankbaits through there. They didn't catch a fish. And I seen some of these fish two and three times the same fish was hitting the lures. I was real impressed. It takes a lot to impress me, too. With those kinds of reactions from the crowd at Harrisburg, I asked Wayne what makes the banjo minnow so irresistible to fish. It looks just like a real minnow. It has a lifelike appearance. Two, it, has, it is neutrally buoyant. It neither floats to the surface or goes crashing to the bottom. Three, it has random directional action. It goes up, down, sideways, all over the place. Four, it has random body movement. The body of the fish actually moves. And five is when it dies, it doesn't move at all. The same way a real dying minnow looks. These five things combined make this like no other lure in the world. And so anybody in the world can catch fish with the banjo minnow. I've been bass fishing professionally for 22 years. I've won over 300 bass tournaments. And in 22 years of bass fishing professionally, I'll tell you, I've never ever seen a bait that has excited me and shown me the capabilities of what I've been missing all these years like the banjo lure. I mean, this bait is phenomenal. It is totally phenomenal. I've never seen nothing like it. Uh, if anybody was standing here today and watched that and said they didn't agree with what the lawyer is doing, then they weren't watching the same thing I was watching, simple as that. That's all I can tell you. you know. it, it, it takes the place of so many different lures. It's, it's unbelievable. The banjo minnow, with this type of hooking system, as well as the whole banjo fishing system, is very innovative, and there's no question in my mind, it will catch you more fish. Introducing the Banjo Minnow, the world's first genetic fishing lure, the lure that can make fish bite even when they're not hungry. The Banjo Minnow comes in a complete 110-piece fishing system that includes 24 weedless banjo fish hooks, from small crappie hooks to large live bait hooks for fishing in the grass. The patent-pending banjo weedless nose hook is screwed directly into the front of the bait, allowing the Banjo Minnow to be thrown anywhere, in the trees, over logs, on top of docks or through the reeds. No more piles of grass and no more fear of fishing where the big ones are. The Banjo Minnow Weedless Hook System is the best weedless hook system ever invented. The kit includes 10 banjo corkscrews for attaching the bait to the hook, 20 rubber weed guards, 10 bait positioning O-rings, six bait weights for deep water presentation, two banjo rattles that can be screwed into any plastic bait to call fish from a distance, two nose weights which allow the banjo minnow to be dragged on the bottom and through the grass, six counterbalanced weedless banjo jigs in three different sizes, 
Because the jig always stands up, you can fish the banjo minnow in a stand-up feeding position and crawl it over rocks and logs where the big fish hide. And finally, 24 banjo minnows in three different sizes in four fantastic colors. You can even take the banjo minnow ice fishing. The banjo minnow will outfish any lure that has ever been made, and we absolutely guarantee it or your money back. Call and order now, and you'll receive Catch the Big One, the how-to video that shows you exclusive tips and techniques on how to trigger the genetic response so you can catch more and bigger fish. This 1995 value is yours free, but you must call now. And as a special bonus, you'll also receive four banjo frogs for fishing on top of grass mats. So lifelike, they make fish jump out of water. The video and the banjo frogs are yours free when you order now. This entire banjo minnow system, the 110-piece banjo fishing kit, video, and four banjo frogs is a $50 value and is yours for just $29.95. Call the number on your screen now. The banjo minnow makes a wonderful gift for the difficult to buy for. Have your credit card ready and order now for delivery by the holidays. Extend your fishing throughout the whole winter season. Now you can turn all your fishing trips into great fishing trips with the banjo minnow. Call. As a final test of the banjo minnow, we traveled to western Pennsylvania and assembled a group of fishermen of all ages to trout fish for one day to see how the banjo minnow performed on a species that is notoriously selective about what it will eat. Third cast, I had one. Maybe a brush trout, rainbow trout. Ooh, wow, Holy <laughs> Look at that one, Kayla. Good hey, job. Hey, look it, it's talking. <laughs> All right. All right. What kind of fish is that? A rainbow fish. A rainbow fish? I caught him on the banjo minnow. This acted just like a real minnow. I mean, I didn't have to do anything, just throw it in. You can't beat that. Even I caught fish. There's the proof. Right there. I got about four or five on the banjo minnow. I'm having one of the best days I've ever had on the stream. So, best day ever you ever had. And that in the banjo minnow is catching a lot of fish today, but that's the, the biggest one that I caught today. We felt we owed it to fishermen to actually see fish striking the banjo minnow in the wild so they could make up their own minds as to whether the banjo minnow was designed to catch fish or fishermen. And the footage speaks for itself. I went to Wellfleet, Massachusetts and found a fast skipping retrieve where the banjo minnow was deadly on bluefish. You saw me. This striped bass wanted a spastic stop-and-go genetic response retrieve. Like all bass, this smallmouth fell for a jerking type retrieve. This pickerel exploded on the bait as all members of the pike family do when they see the banjo minnow. It took me one day at Bienville Plantation, Florida to capture this great shot of a largemouth nice. engulfing the banjo minnow. We had to choose television to show the banjo minnow because nobody ever would have believed how real it swam or how real it looked. And they wouldn't have believed that you could catch every species of fish with it, and they wouldn't have believed that it could actually make fish bite. They would have laughed at us. It's fantastic. It was just, it's unbelievable. It was fantastic. We were turning fish around, we were catching fish. It's unbelievable, you have to see it. It's a very easy bait to use. Uh, the action of it, uh, you just keep bringing it along and the fish will find it. All you gotta do is try it. It's really simple. Put it on the end of a hook and put it in the water and try it. And, and, and it'll make, uh, it'll just, you'll believe it, okay? It, it's made a believer out of me. If you're a recreational fisherman, you'll catch more fish and have much more fun doing it. If you're a tournament fisherman, you don't have a choice because if you don't use it, the other guy will. Believe me when I tell you, the banjo fishing system is truly the most exciting thing I've seen in a mighty long time. Introducing the Banjo Minnow, the world's first genetic response fishing lure. The lure that can make fish bite even when they're not hungry. 
The Banjo Minnow comes in a complete 110-piece fishing system that includes 24 weedless banjo fish hooks, from small crappie hooks to large live bait hooks for fishing in the grass. The patent-pending banjo weedless nose hook is screwed directly into the front of the bait, allowing the banjo minnow to be thrown anywhere, in the trees, over logs, on top of docks, or through the reeds. No more piles of grass and no more fear of fishing where the big ones are. The Banjo Minnow Weedless Hook System is the best weedless hook system ever invented. The kit includes 10 banjo corkscrews for attaching the bait to the hook, 20 rubber weed guards, 10 bait positioning O-rings, 6 bait weights for deep water presentation, 2 banjo rattles that can be screwed into any plastic bait to call fish from a distance, Two nose weights which allow the banjo minnow to be dragged on the bottom and through the grass. Six counterbalanced weedless banjo jigs in three different sizes. Because the jig always stands up, you can fish the banjo minnow in a stand-up feeding position and crawl it over rocks and logs where the big fish hide. And finally, 24 banjo minnows in three different sizes in four fantastic colors. You can even take the banjo minnow ice fishing. The banjo minnow will outfish any lure that has ever been made, and we absolutely guarantee it or your money back. Call and order now, and you'll receive Catch the Big One, the how-to video that shows you exclusive tips and techniques on how to trigger the genetic response so you can catch more and bigger fish. This 1995 value is yours free, but you must call now. And as a special bonus, you'll also receive four banjo frogs for fishing on top of grass mats. So lifelike, they make fish jump out of water. The video and the banjo frogs are yours free when you order now. This entire banjo minnow system, the 110-piece banjo fishing kit, video, and four banjo frogs is a $50 value and is yours for just $29.95. Call the number on your screen now. The banjo minnow makes a wonderful gift for the difficult to buy for. Have your credit card ready and order now for delivery by the holidays. Extend your fishing throughout the whole winter season. Now you can turn all your fishing trips into great fishing trips with a banjo minnow. Call. I've never seen a reaction from a crowd such as this lure has produced. I mean, the people, I mean, if they had a booth right here, right now, that they could get that bait, it would have been sold out today. I'll guarantee it because these people wanted this lure. <laughs> there's, a, there's no doubt in my mind. It was raining, the wind was blowing, it was the day that nobody would want to go out and fish. But he brought some down for me. We tried them and we boated 20 bass that day. The biggest was just a little over five pounds. We caught some, some pike, uh, they call them jacks down here or chain pickerel. And I was just absolutely amazed, I, I couldn't believe it. Like I said, when you're out there on a the slow day and nothing's biting and you throw the banjo minimum out there and you start producing fish that normally wouldn't bite the time of the day and the tides you're fishing in, and you're catching fish more than you're caught during the best tides of the day, it uh, really was effective. I could take, you know, uh, service running lures to get rid of them. I could take my deep diving lures, you know, and I won't have to carry all them along with me. I mean, it's a lure that does all the jobs you want it to do. I mean, it cuts your toolbox down in half. <laughs> the banjo minnow looks and acts just like a real minnow. It's unlike any lure in the world because no other lure can make fish bite even when they're not hungry. You don't have to be a professional fisherman because it's so simple to use. Now everyone can catch fish with the Banjo Minnow. This has been a production of Script to Screen, direct thinking for direct response. The preceding program was a paid presentation for the Banjo Fishing System, brought to you by TriStar.